He's All awesome. right, thanks a lot, Chris. Arden McLaughlin and I talking about a lot of things, including books and Arden's book club and all sorts of and good things you got up. going on. You just know. catching up because we haven't seen each other actually in, in quite a while since you usually visit on Monday. And I Mark do. Davenport normally does Monday. And yes. Uh, you know what's going on here. Anyway, yeah. but you got, I love it that, that you love books so much. I do. Because I think, I think learning to read for especially young children is the most important thing. It's the most important skill we can ever learn. Absolutely. So, uh, and just to be able to tell stories over and over. So the cool thing about all of these is they're all local folks who oh, really? oh, I love local which you authors. know. Yes. So this is my wonderful friend Joy Calloway's second book. It's called Secret Sisters and it actually comes out tomorrow. Oh, so, so we're getting a sneak preview. We do right get here a sneak Joy preview. Calloway. This is very cool. So Joy, um, this is her second book, historical fiction based on when um, sororities came to play. So in this particular book, it's four women who are at a male-dominated college mm -hmm. and they need some camaraderie, so they go through creating a sorority and sort of the intricacies behind that and it was forbidden and it's a very cool story. Very similar, like these particular ladies are not true, if you will, but it's very similar to how most sororities were formed. And go to ArdensBookClub.com because you're all invited to meet Joy at her oh. launch party tomorrow. There's oh more gosh. details on my website. Oh, yes. Okay. Now, I love Club. Joy. She's love wonderful. That. Okay. What do we got here? This the looks like a The second one book. is, you know, I love basketball. Yes. So this is from Avery Latta. Would team, would it, it would park, be. Well, Duke Avery Latta. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that with Avery's name. Avery Latta <laughs> was played for UNC Chapel Hill, too. She now still plays um, in Washington for the WNBA, and her book is called Despite the Height. So Avery is known for being one of the best point guards in her generation, oh, and wow. she's like 5'6", so, oh. which is really, you know, like, I'm 5'11", so it's really, you know, and I'm still kind of short for a female basketball player, so Avery's story, and you can go to my website, too. Avery's going to be in town in a couple weeks talking um, about her book as well. Oh. Oh, this is neat. I love this artwork. And yeah. This is really nice. So wow, the, look at that. There I you know. Go. Avery is, so artistbookclub.com. All right. Then we have the last one. So this is kind of on a different, this is Ken Harris. Ken He's Harris. also oh. local. Yes. It's called Dark Trades. So this is actually what would have happened if the South won the Civil War. Really? Uh, yes. Yeah. So obviously fictional, but it's a really interesting look at kind of the characterization and just kind of reading it. It seems very similar if people have been watching The Handmaid's Tale or read The Handmaid's yes. Tale. Just, it's almost a human experience. Like, so what happens when history is flipped on us and still what you do as a human to move forward when you're degraded into not being human. So. Also very cool, local Ken attorney, Ken Harris. Dark trays. Yes. Arden McLaughlin, thank you. Ardensbookclub.com, yes. right? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Got All right, stay with us. We'll be back in just a moment.